guys, this is Justin, also known as Grandfather on Discord. And today we're opening up a little something special. And uh, yeah, so this is one of some of those rare, uh, I guess, booster kits that we're giving out to stores to try out the game, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is actually my last one. Uh, when I first started this channel, I opened up three. So this is actually my last one. Um, but uh, well, yeah. so without further ado, let's uh, let's break into it. And if I'm pretty much, if I remember, if my memory serves correct, um, these boosters, I think, were the Kickstarter style of rarity. So yeah, you get your two mats. And yep, 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 cool. Yeah, you're, uh, you get your um, minion packs and then, yeah. So. <clears throat> All right, so, all right, not bad. We got some pretty good, promising card starters. So without further ado, let's break into it. <clears throat> Always and foremost, starting with the Tempest. Here we go. Uh, Disintegrate. Everflame Aura. Everflame Phoenix, Flame Breaker Invoker, Flame Break Invoker, Primordial Slam, Steadfast Ice Crusher, Stormcaller, Venerable Lasher, Windspark Elemental, and Yeti Warcaller. Okay, so not bad. We have uh, a couple spells, three spells. Uh, mobility wise, there's a lot of aggressive, that's for sure. Aggressive, 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 um, aggressive, and then some mobility. So actually it's not too terrible. I mean, it's meant to be aggressive, but uh, that's a bit of a hit or miss. Um, but actually it's not bad considering if this was a was drafting, I definitely would consider um, the Tempest purely because being aggressive, you can kind of like surprise people uh, depending on what, how big they are in the earlier. So like Everflame Phoenix starts starts with uh, six attack, three attack for Flame Break, not the greatest. Steadfast is three, so eh, maybe. So, all right, we got <clears throat> Korok, Flame Strike, Lightning Speed, and Whirlwind. Okay, moving on. All right, here we go. The armored, we're starting off with the armored Rex. Very good. That's actually pretty good, actually. Uh, Botanomy, Glowhive Siren, Leyline Vermin, Mystical Decayosaur, not bad. Regenerating Bear, Shifting Druid, Spirit Leash, Stout Basher, and a Tormogite Guardian. Not bad. Spirit Leash is actually very good, considering the fact a lot of, pretty much majority of, of, of spirits are also uh, in green, especially with um, the minions, like the wisps are considered spirits. So as the oak fathers are also considered spirits. Um, so this is actually very good. So let's see here, we got Botanimate. You got some strong cards, getting Ley Line with Glowhive. Uh, we got some dinosaurs, which is great. Shifting Druids, one thing. Uh, it's only two spells, so that's kind of a bit of a bummer. Um, but you do get a couple of dinosaurs, which is okay. Not too terrible. Um, maybe possibly giving uh, one of your spirits um, extra buff, but um, 
Yeah, I don't know. This is a tough one. I mean, maybe like a good overall. Maybe if you had a good synergy with some dinosaurs um, being aggressive. I think this had a couple dinosaurs. Uh, one, just one. Never mind. <laughs> and so the shifting druid is okay. Not the most desirable one, but um, yeah. So. That being said, that is kind of neat that we did get a, a Betrayer Spirit Leech. That is pretty cool. All right. We got Oros with uh, Growth Aura, Dark Force Strain, and Shape Shift. So that's a real bummer with Dark Force Strain considering it only has two spells, but maybe you might use the other one. <clears throat> oh, and if you haven't seen the Kickstarter, Minions, they're just slightly different. They look really cool. All right, All right moving on to the next one. All right, we got the, the Apostle Mancer, Scipion Experimentation, Drix, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Electronet, Epoch Soldier, Orion Battle Droid, Recycling Assassin, Recycling Inventor, Synapse Sentry, War Machine. Okay, so there's a lot of replacement synergies. The War Machine being one of those, if it gets replaced, gets buffed. Recycling, the key word is if, if this replaces a creature, they get buffed as well. Um, not the strongest buffing, honestly. And yes, there's some replace synergies with a possum answer, but I mean, it could end up them being really, really huge, but that's, that's hoping that they didn't wipe our entire board out. So anyways, uh, Steel Rosetta, Enhance, Repurpose, and Inspire. All right, very good. Yeah, there really wasn't much to say about that one. I mean, it's pretty pretty obvious on what it, the cards want to do, so. All right, so we got the favorite, Necrium, next, with the Abyssal Creeper, which I find to be one of the strongest cards in this. I prefer uh, maybe the Cutthroat, but <clears throat> even still, very strong. Abyssal Cre Creeper. Dr. Frankenbaum. Yo, yeah! Love my Stitcher. Hibernating Stitcher, Donald Fiend, Om Nom Nom, also Rare Mech, Spide Hydra, Stout Walker, Barracks Embrace, and Zissin Dread Maul. And Forsborn is Nyx Nakia. Uh, let's see, Army of the Damned. Dark Summoning and Raising Dead. So, um, hmm. you know, if it wasn't for the Stitcher, I probably would not enjoy this deck as much. Um, there is some scientist synergies with both the hibernating, uh, the Stitcher and the Frankenbaum being scientists, but um, Stitcher is always my favorite card. So, Om Nom Nom uh, could be a form of Self-destruction, put another form of removal, style walker, another form of removal. So barracks embrace and then stealth. So uh not bad. The it seems like uh <clears throat> this whole booster was very spell light. Um but it is neat. I always like getting another citra deck, so no shamblers. But no worries, not that big of a deal. Being able to pop back certain cards um, that, you know, with deploy effects is always very strong, such as like the Abyssal Creeper, you can bring that back. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's see, one, two, two, B, S. Eh. Okay, it's okay. It's not crazy. Um, but yeah. With that being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, booster opening. Uh, just wanted to remind people that 
Um, you could also help me by liking, subscribing, and helping the channel. And if you want to help some more, I do now have a Patreon up on um, Patreon. And so the links are down below. And let me know if you, uh, what kind of stuff you guys want to see next. We've been doing a lot of gameplays lately due to the fact that a lot of people want to see some uh, strategies that are being used right now for, by some of the best players in the game. Um, obviously, this is all done online on the Tabletop Simulator, but news of the app, the Soulforge app, is is out. So we have images. They've played demos over at the UK. So I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring you some more Soulforge content and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Hey Forgers, thank you for watching. And remember to like, comment, and share. And check out some of these other videos below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.